completely something else, okay, without music, and he's doing his lyrics on an Islamic level, and he's giving a message, he's guiding the youth, okay, he's doing da'wah through his work, what he likes to do best, and what, he's the, what he does excellently, subhanAllah. So these two people, we need our young people out there who are not maybe doing the similar kind of things, to look up to these brothers and to try and be like them, to be proactive, to be active towards Islam, to use your time and effort to sort of serve the deen, to do things that you enjoy but at the same time, like do it in a way that's Islamically correct. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So Brother Muslim Bilal, subhanAllah, is, uh, is an excellent person and inshallah we'll be hearing inshallah. a little bit f uh, more from him um, in a while. Now, um, as I was talking before, before the show, um, before, the, uh, before the break, um, the, uh, in the first half of the show, one of the most important things that all of us should be doing throughout the year is uh, reciting the Qur'an doing all of our prayers on time, okay, so that our Iman sort of stays there. We stay, because obviously after you believe in Allah and Prophet Sallallahu the most important thing is for you to pray. Now, if you can't do these things, uh, do that five times a day, then I think that that, that shows that our uh, Iman isn't so strong or maybe where it should be. Wouldn't, what do you think, Brother Muslim, isn't that, isn't that correct? I mean, maybe, because yeah. prayer is like the most important thing after. Definitely. So I think all the people out there, young people, um, if you don't know how to pray, you should learn how to pray. And if you are praying already, make sure you're praying in the masjid. And if you're already Definitely. praying in the masjid, make sure you do it all the time, even yeah. at Fajr time. Just build, 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 build. That's it. Don't let it sort of be broken by shaitan, because he is, at the end of the day, your greatest enemy. And there's no now, excuse to not know how to pray. Exactly, that's I was, it. At 19, I saw, there was a time in the masjid, and I saw all these. When I first prayed, I remember it was a Juma Salah. Mm. And I first went in the masjid and the Imam said, Allahu Akbar, like I say in one of my lyrics. Yeah. I was so confused. We were just going up and down, up and down. Yeah. And I didn't understand, but I thought, after the first rakat, you realise, it's every time he says Allahu Akbar, you move. But then after we finished, I realised the young kids was praying by themselves at different paces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was determined, so I went home and I wrote it out on, paper, on a sheet of paper. And within five days, I was, first I was reading it on the piece of paper in front of me. And then I, was, I had two sheets and then I learnt that. And then I removed that yeah, piece yeah. of paper and I just needed that second one for the tashahud yeah. when I'm on my knees. And yeah. SubhanAllah. And that's all. Like, days. Wow. I think that's an excellent way of learning how to pray as well. Yeah. If people don't know, maybe you can write it out on a sheet of paper and then just leave it in front of you. Learn it like that and then after a while, because you've said it so much, you're just going to memorize you're gonna it. memorize it, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. I think that's just a piece of advice for the people that are learning how to pray. SubhanAllah. So, brothers and sisters, young people out there will need to call in, like I said, and share your experience of Ramadan. Tell us what you're going to do for the rest of the year, how you are like Abdul Rahman gonna, so of course obviously people who go to school and college, um, the prayer times sometimes collide, especially in the winter times, you have yeah. like three prayers that you need to do during school and pray, um, college times, like we have Zuhr, Asr and Maghrib, and these days are coming, the short, really short winter yeah. days. Now we need to think about how we are going to be, are going to be able to pray all these prayers in Jamaat while we're at school or college, or maybe even at work, okay? So how are we as Muslims, maybe we need to talk to our school teachers, they will talk to our school supervisors and you know the people who are in charge, the headmasters, and talk, tell them that we've got these prayer times. Okay, uh, we need to pray, for example, Zuhr at one o'clock or, or twelve o'clock when the short days comes, or uh, and Asr at three o'clock. All of these things we need to take up with the school people so that they can give us this opportunity to pray. Because, like I said, prayer is the most important thing for a Muslim to do after his shahada. And um, it's just it just shows um, it just shows your iman when you can pray five times a day. Inshallah. Now, um, again, Brother Muslim Bilal, um, you obviously, um, I just wanted to, you to give a piece of advice to the young people out there, like, what should they do? Obviously, Ramadan's finished now, and you know how it is, how the difference is. Um, what should they do for the rest of the year um, to keep the spirit of Ramadan going? The spirit of Ramadan, I would say, like you just said, keep the spirit of Ramadan going because, unfortunately, um, with a lot of us, what I've noticed since being a Muslim is that when, when Ramadan comes, we're all crowded in the mosque and we seem to make the wiser decisions. Or when Ramadan's over, we neglect our religion. Or when Ramadan comes, we got a law on our mind and we always pray Salah on time. But when Ramadan's over, we're back to the crime. When Ramadan comes, she got the fear in her heart and she likes to cover her hair. But when Ramadan's over, it's like she don't even care. I don't want to be a Muslim who's only a Muslim in Ramadan. We need to all be Muslims who have Iman all year round. Say, I don't want to be a Muslim who's only a Muslim in Ramadan. I want to be a Muslim who has Iman all year round. 
That's my yeah. advice. So say Masha that Allah, wow. to yourself and inshallah. Wow. Be a Muslim all year round. Yeah. That's that's what it is because we don't want to be like they say part time Muslims. Exactly. That's not uh, that's not a good thing to do. Obviously, it's very dangerous. If you're going to be a part time Muslim, what if death takes you at that time when you're not being a Muslim? It's, it's, a, it's a very dangerous position to be, and we need to actually, even though we're young and we're very energetic, we like to have fun all the time. But at certain times, we actually need to stop and think. Okay, that to be honest, we are all going to die one day. Okay, I like Brother Muslim when I was saying in his first lip, we are all going to die one day, and we need to really think and sort of work hard and make the most of our time. Okay, do what we're supposed to be doing as Muslims, praying. Okay, being nice to your parents. Being, obeying your parents, okay, respecting your elders, uh, and of course, you know, obeying the commandments of Allah, fasting when you're supposed to, praying when you're supposed to, and all of these other things that you know uh, we learn about um, as Muslims. Now, again, a reminder to the people out there to call in and um, tell us what you're planning to do for the rest of the year, inshallah. And now that Ramadan is finished, what are you going to take as a lesson? For, to do for the because brother Muslim, Muslim Bilal has shared his um, um, idea or maybe his advice um, to the young people out there what we should be doing or how it's unfortunate that many people don't uh, act the way they're supposed to be doing um, uh, for the rest of the year and just are practicing in Ramadan. Now, brother Abdul Rahman has also uh, tell, told us that now it's obviously the school is open and everything and things are changing and all of these things we need to sort of take into mind and um, you know for, for people who go to school and college um, how we can practice our deen even when we go to school or college because obviously it's, it's sometimes very so a lot of fit now there in uh, schools and colleges isn't it with all the peer pressure and um, all the un-Islamic sort of environments now a quick announcement before we move on next week on our show believe you or not but we are going to be having some really 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 big timers I mean <laughs> These, these guys, they're amazing. When I say the name, I'm sure like a lot of people are going to be happy. We're going to be having three brothers in the studio, and they are very famous, and they, they've released an album recently. Um, I'm going to give you a clue. They've released an album, a charity album for Ibrahim College, and before that, last year, wasn't it, Abid? Yeah. They released another album, and well, it was one of the... Was it last year? <laughs> I think it was the year before. Or maybe the year before, because time flies, subhanAllah. Uh, but they released another album earlier on, and it was, wow, it, it was hitting the market, basically. A lot of people were liking it, and... And they call themselves Labaik. So inshallah, next week we're going to be having Labaik, the three brothers from Labaik, live on the show, inshallah. Well, they said that they're going to be coming, so I hope um, <laughs> it works out, inshallah. So make sure everyone is watching next week. Make sure you tell all of your friends and your family and all the young people out there. Parents, make sure you tell your kids to watch it. Um, young people, tell your friends and cousins and everyone to watch it because it's going to be a great show. It's going to be inspiring for other young people outside as well. And if you can inspire someone, or if, if through your work you can inspire someone else, okay, to do something good, that's a form of da'wah as well. Isn't yeah, it, Brother Muslim Bilal? Definitely. And that's what Brother Muslim Bilal and Brother Abdul Rahman are doing. They're inspiring other people of, of, of young age, okay, who are growing up in this society, in London, in UK, or in these Western countries, um, where uh, Islam is not the religion of the country, basically. Mm. It's, it's, it's hard. You can get confused. Young people would definitely get confused at times, like um, they're in school and they're not in a position where they can pray, like pray in the jama'ah. Or they're not in classroom where girls are on one side and boys are on one side. Does that make sense? Or they're not in a, an environment where, where maybe, for example, like free mixing is something so, so normal. Like all of these things that maybe are not so Islamic, it's, it's just normal. Okay? So there are going to be points where our young people like, are going to be confused. And that's why we need to keep in touch with shows like this, Young Minds, or maybe other events who, which guide our young people uh, towards practicing the deen, towards keeping themselves on track, towards keeping themselves focused on the deen. Because don't forget, Islam is our first identity, isn't it? Before anything else, before before being a Bangladeshi for myself, before Brother Muslim Bilawi being Jamaican, Jamaican, before before Abdul Rahman being Bangladeshi as well, or a British citizen, that our first identity is that we're a Muslim. We believe in Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we bow down to Allah five times a day, and that's what makes us real, basically, because we realize what we're supposed to do, and we <coughs> realize our duty that we should be worshiping Allah only. So, the most important thing is, like I said, I think. Um, to keep the spirit of Ramadan going, and we do that through keeping in touch um, with Islamic Islamic people, Islamic brothers and sisters, and uh, events and sort of talks, lectures, shows, which um, keep us motivated to practice the deen. I think we have a call on the line. Let's see who it is. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Oh, hi. Um, it's lovely what you're doing, and I have two young children. You have actually inspired them. I've got a seven year old son, and five-year-old daughter and they actually watch it. Okay, and um, my son is actually a big fan of Muslim Bilal uh, and my daughter. Assalamu alaikum Muslim Bilal. Wa alaikum salam. 
We just heard you saying the Ramadan Nasheed. We just want to know what it's called because my son wants to download it from the internet. It's actually not out. It's it's um it's something that I just I just made up. It's not on none of my albums. Wow. Sister, it's not, it's not on any of his albums, okay, so you can't download it. It's actually exclusive for Young Minds, okay, so when we put this show on <laughs> yeah. YouTube, you can watch it from that. But, um, oh, okay, but it's beautiful, um, the way you sang it, really. we just listened to it. Uh, Mashallah. Inshallah, I'll try and extend it and, and, and create like a, a proper yeah. version. Jazakallah. Probably what, son, not for ne till next year Ramadan though. Yeah, Yeah, because um, my son said like, oh, can you just change it? I want to watch cartoon. And as soon as he heard you actually singing that Nasheed, he said, that really touched my heart. He's only seven and he just Mashallah. said that he actually touched his heart. Well, that's another way of saying that, brother, brothers, your show is quite boring with that about Muslim Mila. So no, <laughs> thank you, for Muslim Mila, <laughs> for making our show very entertaining for young people. Jazakallah, sister, for calling in. Where are you calling from? Alaikum. Where are you calling from? Russell Square. Russell Square. So in London yeah. still? Yeah, London. MashaAllah, excellent. Jazakallah khair for calling in. Okay, wa alaikum salam. Believe you or not, brother, last time we had someone calling in from Rome. From so, Rome? Yeah, and I think it was an Eid. We had someone calling in from Rome. Yeah, MashaAllah. SubhanAllah. So that was great. Um, we're coming towards the end of our show today. Um, obviously, I just want to thank you, brothers, for coming in. Brother Muslim Bilal, you came in from very far. Um, Jazakallah for, you know, coming in. Um, and may Allah reward you abundantly and accept your work mm -hmm. for the deen, inshallah. No and problem. same to... Uh, Mr. Abidul Rahman for coming in on this busy day. You have school tomorrow, so uh, is it past your bedtime yet? Uh, <laughs> not just yet, but uh, maybe you have school maybe. and yeah, homework and all that. So Zakal for coming in, and I hope it, I hope his um, parents forgive him for coming out so late. Now, for all the young young people that called in today and participated in the show, I want to thank you as well because you guys are what make this show. It is, this show is for you. This is your show. I'm nothing. We we are nothing in the studio. What you guys like, that's what we're trying to provide for you. What what helps you is what we're trying to provide for you basically. So you guys can send in suggestions. You guys can send in ideas. You guys can send in jokes, riddles, yeah, uh, strong uh, yeah, short stories and all that that we can share uh, or on the show. Uh, you can email in at. Um, Ikra, ym at ikrauk.tv that's ym at ikrauk.tv that's the email address for calling in uh, or sorry emailing in ideas short stories or maybe you can even tell us if you want to come into the uh, come into the show what kind of talents you have maybe you can come inside uh, come into the show and uh, sort of share some of your ideas or even um, share some of your talents and that email address should be on the screen somehow um, right now Again, uh, Alhamdulillah, I think it was a good show today. I'm very happy to be um, uh, hosting this show. It's an honor to be uh, with great people. This is an opportunity for me to meet nice people like these brothers and to be able to talk to young people out there who are, mashallah, inshallah, will be uh, attempting and trying their best to practice the deen. Don't forget next week, uh, next Tuesday, um, 7.30, Live, inshallah, we'll be having Labbaik on the show, uh, Nasheed Artist, inshallah, so watch out for that, make sure everyone else is watching, and if you're not on the Facebook um, Young Minds page yet, make sure you get yourself on the page, and again, you can catch up on all of our shows on YouTube, it's all there, inshallah, um, you can catch up, and uh, leave, don't don't be shy to leave your comments, your ideas, whatever, you can do that on YouTube as well if you've got an, if you've got, uh, an account. Jazakallah khair for everyone for watching, inshallah, we'll be seeing you again next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.